L405 disc bulge, L5 S1 disc bulge. What exercises can I do to relieve the pain associated with L405 disc bulge, L5 S1 disc bulge, and even help stabilize the back and prevent this problem from reoccurring over and over again? That's one of the most common questions I get asked on my channel in the comment sections under my video. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three, three great exercises to help strengthen and stabilize the back and help you relieve the pain associated with L405 disc bulge, L5 S1 disc bulge. Stay tuned. Helping you relieve pain conquer stress, and supercharge your health the chiropractic way. So in this video, I'm not only gonna show you these three amazing exercises to help relieve the pain associated with L405 disc bulge, L5 S1 disc bulge, and even help stabilize and strengthen your lower back, lumbar spine, but I also want to show you the actual muscle we're gonna be targeting with these three exercises. And that muscle is the multifidus muscle or the multifidus lumborum muscle. So I wanna show you this from the Atlas of Human Anatomy from Frank Netter. So pay close attention, watch this. I want you to see how many layers of back muscles you have in your back. Okay, and these three exercises will target this multifidus muscle. And I'll tell you why in a, in a moment. And then we'll get into the exercise. So stay tuned. Okay, so here is one layer of your lo lower back muscles. Okay, and the multifidus is deep, deep, deep below that layer. So I'm going to go to the next layer. Okay, below that is your next layer of lumbar low back muscles. And then below that, right against the spine, is the multifidus muscle. Okay, it's the right here. It goes from this area of your spine all the way down to the sacrum. Now, the purpose of the multifidus muscle, it's very important. It acts as a lumbar spine extensor, so extends the spine, and it also acts as a very important stabilizer. And oftentimes, through a back injury, whether it's an L405 disc bulge injury, an L5 S1 disc bulge, or a low back sprain or strain, or an SI joint injury, anything related to the lower back, that muscle will lose its functioning and its ability to stabilize the spine, which can prolong the recovery, cause more back pain, and just never get that back strong again. So these three exercises are gonna specifically target the multifidus muscle. Now, I want you to give you these exercises that can be done easily, whether it's at home or at work. So they're gonna be three standing exercises for the multifidus muscle that may help relieve pain associated with L405 disc bulge, L5 S1 disc bulge, and other lower back chronic pain complaints. So follow along right now, I'm gonna show you these exercises. This first exercise is called a standing multifidus muscle activation exercise. Stand with your feet together, place your thumbs in the lower back just lateral to your spine so you can palpate or feel the multifidus mu muscle and then lean forward like this. Now be careful not to tip forward or fall, so watch your balance, okay? And what you're doing is it's as if you're looking over a cliff, right? That's what it's called, looking over a cliff. And you want to feel with your thumbs the activation of those multifidus muscles on either side of the lumbar spine. And what this is happening here is that as you're leaning forward, the multifidus muscle has muscle spindles and proprioceptors and sensors of your position. So it's automatically going to activate as soon as you lean forward. It's a postural muscle. And in doing so, as soon as you lean forward, it's gonna activate and get that muscle engaged improve in strengthening the firing patterns and overall stability of that muscle and lower back. So it begins to fire the multifidus muscle very, very nicely when you're leaning forward like this. You can actually feel with both your thumbs. So go ahead, lean forward, hold for about a second, and do that anywhere from 10 to 20 times as, as long as it's not painful, okay? Now, this is standing low back extension. So the multifidus muscle is an extensor of the back as a stabilizer. So now we want to activate the multifidus muscle bilaterally, both sides, by extending backwards in a standing position. So again, a postural standing position. With my thumbs, I'm actually, again, on the muscles, just lateral to the spine, and I want to feel the, the multifidus muscle pop up or bulk up under my thumb with this motion, okay? So it's a typical lumbar extension exercise with the focus on the multifidus muscle. Again, you wanna feel that multifidus muscle bulk up under your thumbs 10 to 20 times. Third exercise is a lateral arm raise. Now, I said that multifidus muscle will activate the moment that you initiate this movement, okay? Just like the lean over the cliff movement, okay? So it's going to, uh, you're going to raise 
one arm, like the right arm, okay, with the opposite thumb, you're gonna feel that multifidus muscle, and you wanna feel the engagement of that muscle, and as you raise that left arm, posturally, your spine wants to stabilize and hold your balance, so the multifidus muscle is going to activate on the left side, and it's gonna help with the stability, because your body, your brain, doesn't want you to tip over on the side of the weight, where the arm is, right, raising up, so the multifidus muscle will fire on the opposite side. Of course, you wanna engage the opposite side now so now switch to your left hand and I'm using a five pound dumbbell you can use anywhere from a two pound to three pound dumbbell up to five pounds you don't need a heavy dumbbell anything under five pounds is helpful and again you can do a ten reps on one side nice slow methodical movement feel the multifidus muscle with the opposite thumb and then switch to the opposite you can do three sets of ten for this Weren't those really awesome exercises? Did you give them a try? Did you follow along? Let me know which one you did first. Was it the looking over the cliff, standing activation for the multifidus muscle, or was it a lateral arm raise? Comment below, let me know. Also, if you like this video, do you like it right now because it does help in the YouTube algorithm, share it with a family member or friend, and subscribe for more great videos just like this. Now, if you ever asked yourself, can an L405 disc bulge get back to normal again? Does an L5S1 disc bulge get back to normal again? Well, I get into details for that question and answer right here in this video, right here on my channel. It's one of the most popular videos on my channel. It's searched all over the internet. Go ahead and watch that next right now to get that question answered.